The Feast of the Ascension of Jesus Christ, also known as Holy Thursday, Ascension Day, or Ascension Thursday, commemorates the Christian belief of the bodily ascension of Jesus into heaven. It is one of the ecumenical i.e., universally celebrated feasts of Christian churches, ranking with the feasts of the Passion, of Easter, and Pentecost. Ascension Day is traditionally celebrated on a Thursday, the 40th day of Easter following the accounts given in Mark chapter 16 verse 19, Luke chapter 24 verse 51 and Acts chapter 1 verse 2, although some Christian denominations have moved the observance to the following Sunday. History The observance of this feast is of great antiquity. Eusebius seems to hint at the celebration of it in the 4th century. At the beginning of the 5th century, St. Augustine says that it is of apostolic origin, and he speaks of it in a way that shows it was the universal observance of the Church long before his time. Frequent mention of it is made in the writings of St. John Chrysostom, St. Gregory of Nyssa, and in the Constitution of the Apostles. The pilgrimage of Etheria speaks of the vigil of this feast and of the feast itself, as they were kept in the church built over the grotto in Bethlehem in which Christ is traditionally regarded as having been born. It may be that prior to the 5th century the event narrated in the Gospels was commemorated in conjunction with the feast of Easter or Pentecost. Some believe that the much-disputed 43rd decree of the Synod of Elvira c. 300 condemning the practice of observing a feast on the 40th day after Easter and neglecting to keep Pentecost on the 50th day, implies that the proper usage of the time was to commemorate the Ascension along with Pentecost. Representations of the mystery are found in diptychs and frescoes dating as early as the 5th century. Western. Topic. The Latin terms used for the feast, ascensio and, occasionally, ascensa, signify that Christ was raised up by his own powers, and it is from these terms that the Holy Day gets its name. In the Book of Common Prayer of the Anglican Communion, Holy Thursday is listed as another name for Ascension Day. William Blake's poem, Holy Thursday. Refers to Ascension Day. Thomas Prune used the term to refer to Ascension Day in his illustration of the Liturgy of the Church of England, published in 1820. However, use of the term Holy Thursday to mean Ascension Day is rare, and the term is more generally applied by most Christian denominations to Maundy Thursday in Holy Week. In Western Christianity, the earliest possible date is April 30, as in 1818 and 2285, the latest possible date is June 3, as in 1943 and 2038. In Roman Catholicism, the Ascension of the Lord is a holy day of obligation and in the Anglican Communion, Holy Thursday is a principal feast. The three days before Ascension Thursday are sometimes referred to as the Regation Days, and the previous Sunday, the sixth Sunday of Easter or the fifth Sunday after Easter, as Regation Sunday. Ascension has a vigil and, since the 15th century, an octave, which is set apart for a novena of preparation for Pentecost. In traditional Methodist usage, the Book of Worship for Church and Home 1965 provides the following collect for Ascension Day, commonly called Holy Thursday. Almighty God, whose blessed Son our Saviour Jesus Christ ascended far above all heavens, that he might fill all things, mercifully give us faith to perceive that according to his promise he abided with his church on earth, even unto the end of the world, through the same thy Son Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Sunday observance the Roman Catholic Church in a number of countries that do not observe the feast as a public holiday has obtained permission from the Vatican to move observance of the Feast of the Ascension from the traditional Thursday to the following Sunday, the Sunday before Pentecost. Similarly, the United Methodist Church allows the traditional celebration on Holy Thursday to be moved to Sunday. This is in keeping with a trend to move holy days of obligation from weekdays to Sunday, to encourage more Christians to observe feasts considered important. The decision to move a feast is made by the bishops of an ecclesiastical province, i.e. an archbishop and the neighboring bishops. The switch to Sunday was made in 1992 by the Church in Australia, before 1996 in parts of Europe, in 1997 in Ireland, before 1998 in Canada and parts of the western United States, in many other parts in the United States from 1999, and in England and Wales from 2007 to 2017, but in 2018 reinstated to Thursday. 
The U.S. ecclesiastical provinces which retain Thursday observance in 2009 are Boston, Hartford, New York, Newark, Omaha, and Philadelphia. When celebrated on Sunday, the earliest possible date is May 3, and the latest is June 6. Eastern and Oriental Orthodox In the Eastern Church this feast is known in Greek as analepsis, the taking up, and also as the episozomene, the salvation from on high, denoting that by ascending into his glory Christ completed the work of our redemption. Ascension is one of the twelve great feasts of the Orthodox liturgical year. Celebration Topic. The feast is always observed with an all-night vigil. The day before is the apodosis leave -taking of Easter i.e., the last day of the Feast of Easter. Before the vigil, the paschal hours are said for the last time and the paschal greeting is exchanged. The Parimia Old Testament readings at Vespers on the eve of the feast are Isaiah chapter 2 verses 2 to 3, Isaiah chapter 62 verse 10 minus 63 to 3, 63 to 7 minus 9, and Zechariah chapter 14 verses 1 to 4, 14, 8 to 11. A Lydia is celebrated. The troparion of the day is sung, which says, during the Polyolios at Matins, the Epitaphios, which was placed on the altar on Holy Saturday either at Matins or the Midnight Office, depending on local custom, is taken from the altar and carried in procession around the church. It is then put in the place reserved for it. The Gospel is Mark chapter 16 verses 9 to 20. The Kentakion is sung, which announces The Megalinarian and Ermos from Ode Ix of the Canon also sung at liturgy is at the Divine Liturgy, special antiphons are sung in place of Psalms 102 and 145 and the Beatitudes. The Epistle is Acts chapter 1 verses 1 to 12, and the Gospel is Luke chapter 24 verses 36 to 53. Topic: Observance. Topic. Ascension Thursday also commemorates the Holy Georgian Martyrs of Persia, 17th-18th centuries. Ascension has an afterfeast of eight days. The Sunday after Ascension is the Sunday of the Holy Fathers of the First Ecumenical Council at Nicaea. This council formulated the Nicene Creed up to the words, He Jesus, ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again, with glory, to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. The afterfeast ends on the following Friday, the Friday before Pentecost. The next day is appropriately a Saturday of the Dead general commemoration of all faithful departed. The Eastern Orthodox Church uses a different method of calculating the date of Easter, so the Eastern Orthodox commemoration of Ascension will usually be after the Western observance either one week, or four weeks, or five weeks later, but occasionally on the same day. The earliest possible date for the feast is May 13 of the Western calendar, and the latest possible date is June 16. Some of the Oriental Orthodox churches, however, observe Ascension on the same date as the Western churches. Topic. Customs Certain customs or rituals were connected with the liturgy of this feast, such as the blessing of beans and grapes after the commemoration of the dead in the canon of the Mass, the blessing of first fruits, afterwards done on regation days, the blessing of a candle, the wearing of mitres by deacon and subdeacon, the extinguishing of the paschal candle, and triumphal processions with torches and banners outside the churches to commemorate the entry of Christ into heaven. The antiquarian Daniel Rock records the English custom of carrying at the head of the procession the banner bearing the device of the lion and at the foot the banner of the dragon, to symbolize the triumph of Christ in his ascension over the evil one and can also be interpreted by analogy as the triumph of England over Wales. In some churches the scene of the ascension was vividly reproduced by elevating the figure of Christ above the altar through an opening in the roof of the church. In others, whilst the figure of Christ was made to ascend, that of the devil was made to descend. In England it was once common for churches to beat the bounds on this day, and some continue the custom e.g. the Church of St. Michael at the North Gate in Oxford. Members of the parish walk round the parish boundaries, marking boundary stones e.g. by riding on them in chalk and hitting them with sticks. According to some, it was once the young boys of the parish that were hit with sticks instead of the stones. 
Knowledge of the parish boundaries was once important, since churches had certain duties such as the care of children born out of wedlock in the parish. In some countries at least in Austria, Belgium, Colombia, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany since the 1930s, Haiti, Iceland, Indonesia, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, Madagascar, Namibia, the Netherlands, Norway, Swaziland, Sweden, Switzerland and Vanuatu it is a public holiday, Germany also holds its Father's Day on the same date. Coinciding with the liturgical feast is the annual commemoration by the Christian labor movement especially syndical, in Belgium of the encyclical Rerum Novarum issued by the Roman Catholic Pope Leo XIII on May 15, 1891. In Venice the ceremony of the wedding with the sea was traditionally celebrated on the Feast of the Ascension, while in Florence the feast was observed by having a dove slide down a string from the high altar of the cathedral to ignite a large decorative container filled with fireworks in front of the main entrance of the cathedral. In Portugal on Wheatstock Thursday, small bundles of poppies and wheat stalks are picked in the fields and placed at home until next year, for good fortune. Music The feast has been associated with specific hymns and other church music. The oldest hymn in German related to the feast is the Liza, Christ für Gen Himmel first published in 1480. Johann Sebastian Bach composed several cantatas and the Ascension Oratorio to be performed in church services on the feast day. He first performed Wer da Glaubit und Getoft Word, BWV 37, on 18 May 1724, Auf Christi Himmelfahrt allein, BWV 128, on 10 May 1725, Gott fahrt auf mit Jochsen, BWV 43, on 30 May 1726 and the Oratorio, Lobet Gott in Seinen Reichen, BWV 11, on 19 May 1735. See also Topic Ascension of Jesus Ascension of Jesus in Christian art Feast of the Transfiguration Topic References Topic <references>